a special treat right now. Oh, we're going to ask Michelle Huntington to come up. Oh! Oh! Great! Uh, now, when we first decided to, to do with Phil, two years ago, he couldn't make it. So he promised me he'd come this weekend. And then I had a bit of a brainstorm. We should, I mean, Phil and Michelle come as a package. A songwriter, singer. <laughs> And so far, <laughs> internationally acclaimed artist. Okay. Germany, England, US, US, Canada, Canada, Tamworth, <laughs> and Tamworth. So I thought we'd get some of Michelle's paintings, and we've got them up on the wall inside. And I can only encourage you to go and have a look at them. And we kind of thought we might just ask Michelle some things because. While I can't sing, apparently I can talk an interview. So I thought, well, oh, I'm going to do an interview. So, Michelle, tell me, let's start. Tell us how you got started in painting these beautiful uh, paintings. Always have painted, but in between getting serious about it, I was a nurse. That's how I met Phil. And uh, then I had four kids. And Did we have? Oh, do you have a, sorry, you have a, <laughs> I did the hard work. <laughs> you did the fun bit. I suffered too. <laughs> so anyway, uh, four kids, and um, then I started on the long road, kind of re-educating or educating myself in the arts. So I think I probably took 14 years to get an honours degree in arts, was it about that? that? <laughs> so, the hunger for them to get an honest degree. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's how I kind of started. And in uh, I guess my kids when they started sort of high school, that's where I started to get more professional about painting. So how did your first international show was in Cambridge in England? How did that come about? Oh, that all came about when I started down the university road. Um, Sometimes life just throws you a few little lucky things and um, that year that I graduated they put my painting as an image on their Christmas card, the University of Newcastle, and um, it found its way to a curator in Cambridge and I then got an invitation to take a painting to be in a women's collection um, at one of the colleges there. So. Then I had an exhibition, I had two exhibitions, so that, that's how that little thing happened. Um, yeah, an honour. We can reveal that Alison's brother Robert bought one of the paintings that was being exhibited at Cambridge. Yeah. And Ian yeah. has promised to match his brother here today. Uh, <laughs> does Ian know that? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ian. Lucky <laughs> Bob. So, uh, one of the things you specialise in, if that's the right word, is plein air. Plein air, tell us a little bit about what that is. Uh, plein air painting, uh, it's when you go out and you sit in the landscape and you paint to your heart's content. And over the years I've found it really uh, essential. I paint the landscape, but I feel like I don't only paint the landscape. In the landscape that I paint goes somehow my, my thoughts, my emotions, my... Um, feelings or my despair about landscape sometimes um, and the environment. So those kind of things over the years of um, the landscape just becomes a vehicle, I guess, for all those other concerns. Um, so yes, yeah, that's, that's. And we have some wonderful paintings today. Yes, we've got a selection of paintings from about 2019 to 2024. Um, and as you all have experienced, in that time there's been um, four years of drought, we had terrible fires, um, we had flooding rains, so the landscape's thrown up a whole lot in those four years and um, it's all there on the walls generally in each little painting. Um, what I've experienced and what we've all experienced. And finally, they're all for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel pressured. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle. Honey. Yeah.